couple years ago when we were talking about the, this playoff becoming a reality, you said you didn't know how you'd get a team ready one week and then potentially have to do it again. How have you guys treated this week? Similar to a bowl week a year ago or maybe more like a Big Ten championship? How, how have you gone about your business this week? Yeah, I think that uh, caused a lot of coaches to have, you know, it, whether it be internal conversations within their program or just uh, reflection themselves. And I remember just thinking, how would this work? Uh, now that we're here, that there's no conversation whatsoever about the, the next one. You can't. That's not fair to our players. And certainly you're playing a team like Alabama that's uh, all hands on deck to find a way to get this one done. That'll be a certain interesting conversation for next week uh, for the two teams that make it. But there's... Uh, there's been zero. You know, I, I think the two, other two teams are playing in the Rose Bowl, and I think it's Oregon and Florida State. Other than that, that's, that's all we know. How comfortable are you with your quarterback situation, your starter and your backup, which is Jalen Marshall? How comfortable are you now, like three weeks into this? Oh, comfortable? Not bad. Uh, Cardell, uh, if you asked me a year ago or six months ago, I looked at you and said, you're, you know, you're, that's, look at you like you got six heads. You know, that's... Uh, but it's a much different story right now. He's had a great week of practice. He's big, he stands back in a pocket. He's uh, got control of the offense. And I think our strength coach said it best to me when we were getting ready for the uh, Big Ten Championship game. He says, you realize he came in the same time our staff did. <clears throat> so he's been in every meeting. He understands the culture, the expectations of the offense. Uh, so uh, very comfortable. And there's been a lot of chatter in the last 24 hours that uh, Braxton Miller is, is actively looking around, or at least have someone looking around. Have you had conversations with him? Do you, do you expect him to return next year? Just what's your thought on that right now? Yeah, yes, I've had conversations, and, and someone hit me with that today, and I don't, I don't expect that. I don't, you know, this meet, there's a lot of things that go on out there that is out of his control as well. So well, we've had conversations, and I expect him to be, be back at Ohio State.